Hi and welcome to another ham radio video here. Today we're going to talk about uh, the OmniCharge battery banks to power your 705 uh, QRP at 10 watts. Um, so you can use DC power from these two battery banks to power the 705 at 10 watts in the field. Now you can see with the size, I got two different OmniCharges here. I actually did do a video prior uh, on the OmniCharge 20 Plus here, which is on the right. Um, but I didn't get a lot of response, didn't get a lot of views, so I didn't continue with the series. Um, but the reason I started that series is because I was getting up, leading up to the 705, and I was planning on using these to power the 705 in the field. And these have a lot, a lot of advantages. So on the right here, this is the OmniCharge 20 Plus, okay? And you can see it has an OLED display. Now on the screen here, you might see it flickering. Just so you know, to the eye, it's not flickering at all. It just has some PWM uh, with my video camera here. And same with the OmniCharge Ultimate. So I'll go through some of the specs of these really fast. The OmniCharge Plus here, this is probably the best. This is the one I'm planning to use for QRP to take in the field. One of the reasons is the size. It only weighs 1.35 pounds, okay? It's a lithium ion battery bank. It has a 20,000 milliamp hour capacity, uh, which is 20 amp hours. So this is a 20 amp hour battery and you can see by the size and form factor how convenient this could be to take in the field. This has a number of features. Um, so we'll try to go through those real fast. It does have an AC outlet, okay? This is one of the reasons I got the original OmniCharge uh, 20 that I have. Uh, this outputs um, 100 watts. It's a modified Synwave, okay? It does have, uh, let's see here, it does have a USB-C port, the DC barrel port, which we'll use for the OmniCharge. And you do have two USB-A ports and uh, one is a Qualcomm 3.0, okay? The nice thing about these is you can adjust the DC out, okay? So hopefully you can see this on the camera. It's probably gonna flicker a bit, um, but you double press the power button. You go to DC input, and you can see here, I've already set it, but let's dump double press. Um, hold on, let's go. Sorry, I didn't, don't get, did, did that right. So you hold that down and you can adjust it up. So 13.8 volts, we're gonna leave it there. Click that, you can adjust the amperage up or down. This does up to five amps out, okay? So we're gonna say, yeah, that's a good. And then ask you, is this okay? 13.8 volts at five amps, yes or no? I'm gonna hit yes. So now, right now, it's outputting 13.8 volts at five amps, okay? And you can do the same thing with the OmniCharge Ultimate. Now the OmniCharge Ultimate, before, let, me, let me finish with this one before I get there. This also has wireless charging for your phone. So you can also put your phone on top of here and wirelessly charge it. Um, so this thing just has a whole pack of features. And all these, uh, both these OmniCharges can do what they call pass-through charging. So you can charge these with solar, okay? And uh, let's see uh, if I have this written down here. Um, this can handle up to three amps in, five to 25 volts, and 45 watts max to charge this with solar. And I do have a 63 watt solar panel called the Big Blue that I spec specifically for the Omni chargers because it puts in just the specifics um, for what this can take as far as charging. Um, and it was really nice is uh, I've, I've seen this powering with that 63 watt panel and you, you never get 100% efficiency with them but I've seen it charging with um, about up to 30, 31 watts in, okay? And these both have pass-through charging, so you can charge your device and charge it at the same time. The other thing about the power bank, besides having the AC outlet, the USB outlets, the USB-C outlet, um, you know, you can use the USB-C outlet also to charge the 705 uh, with a USB, as you already know. So you can do that also, uh, as well as charging it with the DC out, so you can power your 705 completely at uh, 10 watts. So I'll show that here in a moment. And that goes with a simple DC barrel cable. And so in the specs, they say you should have a fuse in your cable. So this is the cable I have for it. You just plug it in the side there. This is a five amp fuse. Um, I'll put it on the screen here and I'll pause for a moment while I do that. It shows in the, in the manual for the 705, it's supposed to be a four amp fuse, but I couldn't find a four amp uh, fuse. Maybe down the road I can. This is a five amp. Okay, so it puts in some protection. 
And just so you know, the Omni Chargers, they have a whole bunch of protections in them. And I'll put the, uh, in the description, I'll put the uh, link to their site. You can check these out for yourself and look over all the specs. But it has overcharge, over discharge protections, um, overheating protections, all a ton of features. And the other thing too is they also come with these nice carrying cases. So you can put the, the Omni Charge in the carrying case, take it with you. These are water resistant, okay? Especially designed for the Omni Charges, okay? And the Ultimate has one too. Now the nice thing about the Ultimate... The big one, we'll go into this a little bit. This is a uh, 38,400 milliamp hour battery pack. Now this weighs, obviously this is more hefty. This weighs 3.08 pounds, so almost th about three pounds, okay? And the nice thing here is the battery pack on this is removable. So in this box here, I have another battery pack here and I'll show you. It's a 38,400 milliamp hour, so a 38 amp hour battery, okay? And you can see here the battery pack, okay? And uh, you can just swap it out here. So if this runs low and you're in the field, you can swap in this one, okay? So it's not too troublesome to do that, okay? So a lot of advantages here with the Omni charges. And again, charges really well with solar. I've been charging both of these with solar power only. You can charge with an AC, uh, an AC uh, you know, outlet. You can charge it with that too. It does come with that. So you can charge it that way also. Um, but this is really convenient for um, QRP. So um, if you really need a lot of power, you can bring this a little bit more. Again, about three pounds. And this is just under one and a half pounds. Okay. So tons and tons of features. And I'm going to, you know, hook it up here to the 705. So give me a moment um, to do that. And we are, see, we are... Let's make sure we're DC outing here. So, DC out, 13.8 volts. So you can see that, I'm sorry for the flickering, but it's just the camera. But again, the screen to the human eye, there's no flickering at all. So ask is 13.8 volts at five amps okay? I hit yes. Okay, so you can see now it says DC. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to the 705. So plug that in there and plug that in there. And now you can see on the 705, we got DC power coming in, okay? Now, I'm gonna put the, my dummy load on here so we can test the full outage here. So I'm gonna disconnect my antenna, put on the dummy load here so I can show you. This is a 10, 10 watt dummy load. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and adjust the power here up just to show that this works. So right now it's at five watts on the battery. Let's go all the way up to 10 watts. And let's go ahead and give that a whirl there. Test, 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 test. This is a test, K4 BBC testing, K4 BBC testing. So as you can see right there, this little Omni charge, Omni charge 20 plus will power your 705 in the field at 10 watts, which is amazing for the portability. Um, a lot of the battery packs people carry uh, can be quite large and they don't have all the features that this does. Um, so this has a tremendous amount of features, um, wireless charging, AC outlet, USB, Qualcomm, and USB-C on this tiny, tiny battery bank. And again, it's got lithium ion batteries in it. It's got high quality I believe they're Samsung uh, cells. And so, you know, you're gonna get a lot of cycles, cycle life out of these. So really, really awesome. Um, I'll do more testing in the field, but this is something light you can take with a 705. You can charge it with solar in the field and power your, your 705 either by DC or by USB. So two ways to power the 705 in the field there, which is great. So just wanted to show you that. And uh, let me unplug this here. And one other thing I wanted to show you, uh, turn this off here, is I did go ahead and get the BP307 battery pack. So I'll show you the size here, comparison. So this is the uh, BP307 battery pink, or ba sorry, battery. All right, hopefully you can see that there. 3150 milliamp hours. 
And just to show you the size comparison between the two, my camera will focus in there. So you can see the two, this is the BP-272 on the, on the left, which is the one that comes with the radio, and this is the BP-307, okay? So very nice. I uh, always like to have a spare battery in all my gear, whether it's a flashlight or a ham radio. Um, definitely important. Plug that back, pour that back on. And I did update the firmware to 1.20, so uh, I did that recently. But anyway, um, that's a quick rundown, powering your 705 on the OmniCharge um, 20 plus. Again, I think a lot of hams might be really interested in this. It's very small, very portable. If you get the carrier with it, you know, it's not a lot of bulk, it's not a lot of weight to take with you. And this guy brings you a lot of capabilities in the field. Um, solar charge this, charge your 705 with DC out at the full 10 watts or charge it with the USB. So, and it's, it's very handy to have a battery bank that has an AC outlet. Um, again, this is gonna handle up 100 watts on the AC outlet. Um, the OmniCharge Ultimate also has an AC outlet. Let me show you that. Um, so, and that one puts out pure Synwave, I believe, and that's um, 120 watts, okay? 120 watts of AC outlet on the OmniCharge Ultimate. So you can compare the two to see which one best suits your needs. Um, I think this one's gonna be the best for the field just because of the size and portability. A lot of you guys uh, that go on the field worry about weight. Uh, so this is really, really convenient. You can bring your 705, uh, your OmniCharge 20 plus, and your DC barrel output. And you can get a, like I did, you get a DC barrel um, where it has a fuse in line to make sure you're protecting your 705 for any issues that might arise. So uh, anyway, I hope that guy, got, hope guys, that helps you guys out and maybe look, makes you look at OmniCharge as a possible portable battery bank, uh, not only for emergencies, for all kinds of devices, but also for the 705 to power it out in the field. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have more questions or you want to see more videos on the OmniCharge or the 705, just let me know. Leave your comments down below. And uh, I'll put links in the video to the OmniCharge website where you can check out all the battery banks they offer, the OmniCharge 20 Plus, which I have here, the OmniCharge Ultimate, which you saw the bigger one, and uh, they have other devices there too. So uh, I definitely invite you to check that out. Um, just so you know, uh, OmniCharge is not sponsoring this video. I'm not getting anything from OmniCharge for this. I just uh, originally had saw these battery banks, got one when they were doing the Indiegogo uh, crowdfunding uh, in order to start the company and build these for people. I have the original OmniCharge 20. This is the OmniCharge 20 Plus. And I really like the idea. I really liked having a battery bank that had an AC outlet because there are some devices that I need an AC outlet to charge things. Uh, I can't do it all in USB. So I like to have the availability to do both and uh, having the wireless charging for your phone on top and just all the features is, is really, really cool. So I'm just really excited about OmniCharge and the products that they build. They build really high quality products and just so you know, on the OmniCharge 20, if you're running a device, uh, there is a feature where you can see how much time you have left on the battery. So it'll tell you the percentage here of the battery. It tells you what you're running, a USB and the wireless charging is on right now. It tells you the temperature, tells you how much water is going in and out of the device. And it will also tell you um, how long your device can run at present. So if you're pulling, I don't know, five or 10 watts out of this thing, it will tell you it will run for the next three hours at the current load. Um, so that is pretty cool to have in the field, to have a device that tells you how much time you have left remaining on the battery and the percentage. And this is an OLED display, and you can just conserve power if you wish. You just tap the button, turns the screen on and off, hold it down to turn it off, uh, and that turns the unit off completely. And uh, just so you know, I've had these for a long time, and uh, I can leave these for like six months now, OmniCharge recommends that you charge it at least every six months because with the lithium ion batteries, you definitely do not want to let them go down below a certain level. That's not very good for them. It's very damaging the batteries. But at least every six months, pull this out and give it a charge, which I do. I have it set on my calendar on my phone to make sure I do that with all my lithium ion batteries uh, to make sure they can last as long as possible. Um, so, But I've had this, again, I've put this away in six for six months, pulled it out, and still had 100% charge. So it really, there's no power loss or power drain that I've seen with either of my Omni charges when they sit there for a while. So that's that's really cool because there's there are a lot of devices that the battery will drain down. 
And uh, a lot of people will get the little AGM batteries or lead acid batteries to take in the field, and those can drain down. And you have to bring a whole bunch of equipment to charge those in the field and everything. So pretty much with the m 705, I can bring this to field, power at 10 watts. I can bring my foldable uh, uh, Big Blue 63-watt solar panel, um, recharge this in the field. And uh, like I said, I've seen at a 45-degree angle with that solar panel, I've seen it put in... 20 plus almost to 32, 33 watts in to charge these. And I can charge this one pretty much from dead um, in a day in good sunlight. And the Onium Charge Ultimate, because obviously it's a bigger battery bank, takes me about a day and a half to charge it uh, up. So it's not terribly bad. Um, but again, in the field, very advantageous to be able to charge and use the power at the same time. So pass-through charging is available with both these devices. So anyway, guys, seven threes, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe my videos. I am trying to do more videos. I did have a little bit of a lull there for a while where I didn't do a lot of videos, but I'm trying to trying to pump some more videos out for you guys and get some for some useful, hopefully useful videos out to you guys that will help you guys. So anyway, guys, seven three, thanks so much for watching. You guys take care. Okay, another quick test here, just showing the Omni Charge running off running the IC705 for 10 watts. Go ahead and power this on here. Double click to get into menu. DC output, 13.8 volts, five amps. Is that correct? Yes. So you can now see the Omni charge is showing 10 watts and you can adjust it all the way up for full power. Do have a dummy load on here, but we'll test this real fast. K4 BBC testing, K4 BBC testing. You can see the uh, whole 10 watts. So the Omni Charge 20 definitely does do the full 10 watts out on the IC705. So there you go, guys. Thanks again for watching.